what kind of rider is very suitable for this type of bike do you consider yourself a beginner rider who wants to go to adventure bike but doesn't feel so confident in terms of the weight and the height of an adventure bike or are you that rider who is vertically challenged or are you that lady rider who wants to go into adventure bike who wants to go off-roading but will have the full confidence in terms of handling an adventure bike watch this video because if you're that type of rider you might want to consider getting this triumph tiger 900 gt low sounds drive comes with a capacity of 888cc with a 94 horsepower at 8750 rpm with a maximum torque of 87 newton meter at 7250 rpm you can get this tiger 900 gt low for a price of 990,000 pesos the front tire is a 19 inch 100 over 90 with a Marzocchi front suspension upside down fork or with a manual rebound and compression damping adjustment twin Brembo brakes over here so this Tiger 900 GT low has a seat height of 760 to 780 millimeter with a dry weight of 193 kilograms and a tank capacity of 20 liters It already has a lot of features on this side you would see there the heated grips here's the buttons for the tft display okay here's a left and right switch the horn left lever is adjustable it already comes with a handguard and on the right the switch on and kill switch we have the hazard over here and surprisingly the brake lever is not adjustable let's look at the tft display it's a seven inch full color TFT instrument so it has an optimized cornering ABS and traction control so there's a fuel gauge the temperature see the tachometer in the left and right speedometer the RPM this bike already has a low crash bars so we have to buy this separately it's time to do my first ride impressions of this Triumph Tiger 900 
GT low. Wow, the acceleration it is too strong. All right, let's go. You can feel the Tiger roaring in this Tiger 900. So in terms of the handling, it's very nimble. Obviously because of the weight, it's very light being an adventure bike. The front tire is 19. So it will feel a little heavy as compared to the tires with 17. Just like my Tiger Sport. But I'm sure that in off-roading, this has an advantage over the Tiger Sport. Okay, in terms of the sitting position, since I'm 6 feet, I feel like I'm riding a cruiser bike since the seat height is very low so this is not obviously ideal for a tall rider probably if you're around 5 foot 6 and below okay, you can consider this bike I like the suspension it is really ideal for both road and off-road riding this is actually even lighter than my Tiger Sport I'm only wearing jeans for this ride so uh, I feel there's a little heat here on my legs probably that's common in all inline three engines of triumph but it's not that bothersome overall the triumph tiger 900 gt low is a very powerful bike it has excellent acceleration and with the name itself it's low it's very low this is suitable for small riders who wants to get an adventure bike but is not so confident in getting that those heavy uh, adventure bikes like the gs or the kawasaki versus or if you're a lady rider who wants to do adventure bikes with confidence because of the low seat and the power of this bike and the weight of this bike consider getting this tiger 900 GT low. I think this Triumph Tiger 900 GT low will compete against the the GS 750 or even the 850.